We are talking the movie Black Wake. This one is directed by Jeremiah Kipp. And uh, this movie tries to be somewhat original in the way that it tells you the story of this particular incident. It ultimately, it kind of looks like you're, you are watching or you're meant to be watching some type of military report. So it's kind of a found footage, pseudo kind of documentary style where it ultimately it follows this, this kind of this main female character who is a kind of a scientist and she's kind of studying this um, parasitic entity that is found in, in bodies of water ultimately and how it, is, it affects humans essentially sort of turning them into kind of zombie like sort of creatures and how it transmits etc and it kind of jumps in different time with different kind of time periods using uh, you know found footage security cams and stuff like that but also someone literally talking to the camera kind of like I'm doing to kind of make this kind of like uh, a film full of small kind of vignettes ultimately that kind of tried to make up this this story so I will give it props for trying to do something somewhat original in, in regards to its kind of style of storytelling you know a style that we don't really see especially I would say in kind of lower budget films because it is kind of hard to pull off uh, but props for trying to do something a little bit original you also have a, a few recognisable names here probably most notably uh, Tom Sizemore and uh, Eric Roberts who both have kind of small roles within the film there the rest of the cast I say are, are kind of unknown so I think it maybe benefits from that because obviously it's going to be you know little bits of found footage here and there but this film ultimately uh, it fails I, 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 it really doesn't have the kind of the um, the, the sure handed to kind of make this film a particularly an interesting movie and it just seems to kind of like flip flop from one scene to another our central actress, um, uh, an actress who was, uh, who was previously a model called Nana Guvova. Accent is so thick, it's very kind of uh, difficult to understand sometimes. And it's she's clearly chosen because she kind of looked, you know, she's very curvaceous and all of that. But I don't think I don't feel it works as a, as a kind of uh, this, this particular character. The movie's so cheap on so many levels; it really does, kind of doesn't. I mean, it's clear that the way that this film movie is made, that um, it's trying to kind of cut corners in regards to the budget. There's very little in the way of kind of special effects. You'll see a few CGI tentacles and the little scorpion things that will come out here and there. But unfortunately, it just comes across as a convoluted mess with uninteresting vignettes that don't really kind of flow in any kind of like proper narrative structure, which makes ultimately for quite a dull film. I appreciate the attempt to try and make something somewhat of a kind of a, an original style of filmmaking and, uh, and, you know, and having something which is maybe slightly uh, different to the kind of traditional style A to B kind of storyline <clears throat> but I don't feel it works particularly well I just think it didn't maybe didn't have the budget and the experience behind this movie um, to kind of really make it anything really worth worth watching the acting as well for the for the most part is kind of horrendous for the, for the majority of the cast here So overall, I'll give this movie a 4 out of 10. I appreciate it to try to do something a little bit um, different, but in my opinion, it didn't work. Have anyone seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.